I think we have enough women policing already. I mean, I think the ones that are there right now are just there because they're token hires. That's got to be it. They're token hires. Pink Hammer Magic is standing under an American flag on the courthouse steps of a traditional public forum spreading the message that change is needed. Yet, the female officers that work here, they don't know the difference between private and public, and they certainly don't know anything about the Constitution. Watch how dumb these officers are. What did you guys learn today? Did you learn anything about the Constitution? Ma'am? I can tell you something else about the Constitution. I have every right to say the police. I can give you guys a middle finger. Look, see, middle finger. See, and I mean this wholeheartedly, 100%. I mean the police. Hi. I was called by a council member that uh, that she was asking us to inform me of uh, the no, so no solicitation ordinance and it's on our books. Thanks to some recent Supreme Court rulings such as Reed versus Town of Gilbert and Norton versus Springfield, most of these panhandling ordinances are considered unconstitutional. Carry on. I know you're oh. recording this and that's okay. I know. Because there is a, an ordinance on our books that keeps people from soliciting here. And right now people are trying to pay their bills. So okay. we don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. So I have to respect my council members and also the citizens that are coming here to try to pay the bills. Okay? Okay. I mean, you can go on on uh, well, other property outside of this. I mean, you can yeah. stay here. Yeah. But in terms of soliciting, that is something we, we can't allow. Cause it okay. Good our, to know. Our, her sign says we need change, and these fools misinterpreted it and thought that she was asking for money. What dummies! Because that's what solicit means, to ask for our money. Our residents are trying to pay their bills and then... Mm. I mean, honestly, it is that it is unconstitutional ordinance. Because it's fully yeah. within our rights to solicit if we wanted to. Alright, ma'am. So, city manager, they're requesting you leave the premises. Why? Because it's private property. No, it's not. It's public. Okay. Are you kidding me? It's, it's private property. Okay. And if you refuse It's to not leave, private. Okay. I'm not gonna sit here and argue, okay? Okay. So who pays for it? Again, I'm not gonna sit here. And or who argue. owns it? Okay. So if you don't leave the McClary? premises, you'll be issued a CTW, which is a criminal trespass warning. And then if you refuse to leave, then you'll be arrested for trespassing. You, so I will be arrested so, for trespass if I don't leave city hall public property, okay. correct? It you're is, saying that, McClary, you're gonna you're put, this, risking yourself on that, right? This is private property, okay? Mm -hmm. So it I is not. You, this is public. Okay. You need to leave the premises because they're requesting you leave. It's just like if you were at QT and they didn't. No, want it's you not. There. And this all is, of the above. You're wrong and you're going to find out the hard way and the police. Okay. There's an ordinance right there. You can go ahead and can I have a dollar? Um, no, ma'am. I'm soliciting. So, so. all right. Only day. under threat of, only because you're going to arrest me if I don't, right? Have a great day, ma'am. Are you going to arrest me if I do? If I stay here, are you going to arrest me? Again. Will you arrest me if I stay here? They're requesting you to leave their private property. It's not private. So if you could please leave the premises, that would be appreciated. All right. Well, I think you're going to learn that this so. is public. Do you know what the difference between private and public is? Okay. Are you going to leave or are they going to issue the CTW? I, they can't trust that. But I'm going to leave under duress because I know then that way you're going to arrest me, right? So again. Are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? Hey, Officer Lee. Again. Ali, Officer Lee, are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? I have, I don't know what my partner's already told you. What, I mean, what what would I, what, what, weren't you guys in the same meeting? Before I answer that question, what has my partner explained to you already before I came out here? That I got to go. Okay. What else did she explain to you? But that's why I'm asking you. Do I? Are you gonna arrest me if I don't leave? Have you been okay. asked to leave? Yeah. Okay. So what else am I going to ask you? I'm I'm asking you a question. You, you guys work for me. You will be issued a. <laughs> you guys are some <laughs> pompous <laughs> one and pompous <laughs> two. I'm leaving only because you're gonna say you're gonna arrest me if I don't. The city of Kirby. I'm talking to you directly. I'm talking to the city attorney. I'm talking to the city manager. I'm talking to the mayor. You guys, you cannot have bitches like that on your payroll, on the city payroll, okay, because they're going to cost the city of Kirby a lot of money and a lot of problems because I'm going to go through the process and I'm not going to let this sit. Hi, sir. I, I'm not going to be quiet about this. I'm going to get all the information that I need. I'm going to get all the camera footage. I'm going to pull their records and, and it's on. I'm going to go through the process. I'm going to take you guys with me. Of course, this video is about the women that are in power, that have badges, that think they know everything, that look so silly when they're trying to give directives. But I have to show you this ignorant fool of a rookie, I don't know what he is, guard?
in random Patriots video. Here he is. Your policy states you have to identify yourself if a member of the public asks. You're who? Your your policy states that you have to identify yourself if a member of the public asks. I mean, I understand this. I'm a member of the public. Okay, I understand you're the republic, but... No, can't. I'm a member of the public. I am the public. If a member of the public, like me, asks you to identify yourself, you're supposed to do that for me, please. I'm a journalist. I'm working on a story here in Benton. <laughs> so, instead of just telling me your name, you're going to try to start a confrontation? Can you come to the wooden door, please? That's that's embarrassing, dude. You need to act better. That's sad. I was literally just trying to have a conversation with you about the building and the mural, and you want to be like that. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> so. I was trying to ask someone out here and they wouldn't answer me. The mural out there, is that original to the building? That really big mural right here on the other side of the we're gonna see her again in just a this minute. Wall right here. Uh, the painting. I don't think, yeah. it, I don't think it's original to the building. Yeah, I think it's a little it's plaque. Like a story on it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know when the building was built? Uh, 1932, I believe. Sweet. Thank you. Let me go look at that plaque. So that lady says this building was built in 1932. <laughs> if that's correct, then this was this mural was put up 10 years later. This woman is going to claim that she knows everything about why Random Patriot's there, why he's filming. If she really knows why, then why didn't she research the difference the between restricted the areas and public areas? Anything in here. But as far as the private offices, you can't step in their videotape. I am allowed to do that. No, I'm not trying to start anything, but I promise no, you I am. No, I'm telling you you can't. I it's actually against the law because there's people private information. Can you show me the law that would stop me from doing that? Yeah, we can look it up if you would like. Yeah, but I'd like I, you to show me that. I'd like you to I'm show me. I'm familiar with the people that do I this. don't want to start anything. Yeah, I just I want to see the building. I'm, I'm telling you where you can film and where you cannot. And you're, well, you're incorrectly telling me. No, I'm really not. So well, I've been in law enforcement for 20 years and I'm familiar with the type I, of people that do this and film YouTube. Most videos, police. I am not trying to antagonize. If you didn't come up to me right now, we would have nothing to worry about. I, until you show me that law, until you show me that law, are you going to arrest me if I go in there? Into the circuit clerk's office? Yes. You have been requested not to go in there. Which means are you going to arrest me? Yes, absolutely. We will call Benton's department and have you arrested. So what would you arrest me for? Because you will be trespassing. You can't. The circuit clerk has requested you not go in there. You will not go Why in there. Why are you starting office. something with me right now? I'm not. I'm you came to up to me starting no, something. No, sir. I informed you where you could feel. You guys are terrible. I can go in there. I promise you I can. Okay. You intend to go in there. You will be arrested. Yeah. That's embarrassing. You guys need to do better. Okay. I've been cordial, asking everyone questions. There's been Correct. no issues. I informed you that you can film in the public. I'm James. How you doing? Yeah. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you, brother. What can we help you with today? <laughs> I didn't want to be bothered. I was just looking at the public hey, areas. Just go. Go. That's right. Be gone. Let a man handle this. And the man handles it. They go by the clerk's office again just to prove to her that he was right. Two minutes ago. And then he tries to get her name at the very end. Two minutes ago, a lady told me that if I walk through here with my camera, that she's going to trespass me and have me arrested. Oh, well, I, I, I wouldn't ground for any of that. No. That's why I was like, what the heck? And I didn't realize it was this. I was thinking it was like an office that I could, that she didn't want me going in. you're not down, are you? I think um, well, I feel a lot better now. This is all she was talking about. I already walked to, through here like two or three times. Uh-oh, somebody's <laughs> going to eat crow. <laughs> What's your name, ma'am, by the way? Is it your policy to identify yourself? I have been told not to speak to you. You might go. Well, you're supposed to identify yourself. Let's go Can we just, I just want to know her name. Let's go. If she's going to work in a public building, then we Here, need to know her name. Here, we have Central Tyrant Investigations standing on the sidewalk with his camera facing a bank, and he's doing an audit. He's doing an audit of the First Amendment. A test. Here come the police, and we have a woman as a supervisor. A token woman, probably. Well, to me, she seems anything but professional. Let's take a look. I mean, you can't sue them the worst, though. <laughs> right, well, that's, not, that's, that's kind of abnormal, right? Right. Uh, I mean, what is not normal is not you illegal. Have a, you have an account so, here at the bank? Uh, I don't want to give that information out. Exactly. So, right. right. 
So you saying for personal reasons, that, that don't make sense. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Mm. That's just like if I was standing in front of your house family. I mean, you can do that. You wouldn't feel funny no. just standing out there? No. Come on now. Here call the police. Here call the police. No, I, I definitely won't do that. <laughs> you do this often? Are you a blogger? A what? A blogger. What is that? Uh, you don't do it if you don't know. No, I don't know what that oh, is. I do like stories. I gather information and I okay. do uh, journalist stories about uh, the facilities I go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you work for like a newspaper or something? Uh, no, I, I'm free, free press. Yeah, correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. You stay out here? Uh, I don't want to answer that question. You, why is that? You, you shut down. I mean, you're getting real personal. Real you're getting, no, you're getting real personal. that's not personal when we got called here to investigate something. Oh, okay, okay. Just like you're doing your investigation, right? Right, right. yeah, I'm doing okay, an investigation. so that's either yes or no. You live out here? Uh, I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> that's yes or no, sir. No, it's I don't want to answer that question. Uh, that's what okay. it is. Well. Thank you, though. No, 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 hey, no, 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 no. Hey, you can't do that. We got, you know, you really can't film us. We got a computer there. We got Sir, I can, personal information. I, I, I can film you. You're ca the cat's not even. Bro, back up, back up, back up, back up, bro, back up. The cat isn't back up. open. Back up, back up, back up. No, no, sir, no, thank you. What, sir? What's your name? You don't want to get that either. Yeah, I'll get my name. It's good name? citizen. Good citizen. Yeah. You just don't want to be cooperative, huh? What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> we, he asked you to stand back, and you still trying to film in there. That's not right. Why? Why is that? Don't you want somebody to cooperate with you when you doing something? Come Man, on. Now. I'm not doing. It's about legality, though. But everything I'm doing. Everything I'm doing is legal. That, you legal. can't film inside that court. Have you? Do you know what prior restraint is? Do you know what plain view doctrine is? Okay, that ain't plain view. You went up in there to look in there. I'm that not in the in car. Plan. You have the camera and here. Anything I can see from public, I can look. You didn't film. see that for the public. You I'm not out in public. I'm not on the you public see, sidewalk. No, you saw, you put that with the camera. Yeah, the public can okay. see. <laughs> anything I can see with my eyes, We're I can film. We're not going to play word games. We know how it No, goes. I know how it goes. I know exactly okay. how it goes. Okay. Why is he blocking the sidewalk? He's impeding my way. I'm gonna go around here. No, we wait, wait, wait. We want we talk. We talking to you. Am right I being now. detained right now? We're talking. to Am you. Am I being detained? If I'm not being yeah, detained, yeah, I'm free. you've, you've been detained. Yeah, right you are being you are. detained. And, and what crime do you have? We what got reasonable, got articulable? Uh, that, that, that's not reasonable, articulable. That is. Suspicion. A supervisor that should know what reasonable, no. articulable suspicion of a crime is. They don't even have the crime part down yet. They just have a little bit of suspicion, and he's detained. Really? That shows the real professionalism of this woman. It's not filming. You out here filming? Filming itself. The Supreme Court already ruled filming itself cannot be deemed as suspicious. Okay. Well. So, so am stuff. I still detained? Yes, illegally. Sir. All right, guys. You heard it. She said I was uh, detained legally. So I'm going to start my timer. It's approximately 1:15. Can I have your name and badge numbers, by the way? I have a badge number. Could I have your why, name and ID why, number? Why everybody think you have a badge number? Well, employee number, ID number, badge number. You filming, right? What What's your name, please? Can you verbalize it as per your policy? See it right here. Can you verbalize it as per your policy, please? You know our policies, but you don't know the policy. Could I have your name and uh, badge number, please? I don't have a badge number. Can I have your name and employee identification number, EIN number? I don't have an EIN number. <laughs> You have to have some type of number. What's your rank? What's your rank? Are you the supervisor? I don't have no stripes. Though. I mean, you have you have five stars though. That don't mean I'm a supervisor. Oh, it means something, because he doesn't have anything. <laughs> His might be hidden. No. Nah. Many years of service. Yeah. That's years. Five of service. years of service. Okay. No, that's not five years. Oh, you said how many years of service? You want you want to talk to us, access certain information, but you don't want to answer. Correct. Questions. What's your name? What's your name and badge number? Brown seven four seven. Brown seven four seven. So you do have badge number. Oh, that's it's not, not badge his badge number. number. So what is it? It's a that's what? Not his badge I just number. gave it to you. It's a employee identification number. That's how I ID you. <laughs> you got me. Huh? As long as you stay right here. I'm that's what I've been doing. And but they don't really want to videotaping them, but. But he has just, they don't want him on their property. Could I have your name and badge number? My name and badge number? Yeah. My name is Glover. My badge number is 682. All right. Yeah, 
number. Yes, he does. So what? So what do you have? The DSN department serial number. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Mr. Good Citizen. Yeah, am I still being detained or anything? No, I just said all right, Mr. Good Citizen. You're free to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. How do we expect these women to enforce the laws when they don't even understand or know the laws?